How's it going, guys? Welcome back to MLB The Show 21 NCAA style. Today, we'll be taking on Old Dominion, and as you can see, they have their powder blue shirt uniforms on. And the Monarch that you see on there is normally on their actual uniforms all blue. But I put that white behind it on the backdrop to just make it pop a little nicer. So, I know that's the white on there is not a part of it but I, I did it because I wanted to make sure it, you know it made it look a lot fresher so other than that I'll see you guys on the field peace so now to the plate Jake Fish day off for him yesterday but back out there for this one bases are empty one man out hit fairly well out towards straightaway center Hicks is there and he makes the catch for the out. And now here is Lorenzo Hicks. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The center fielder, Lorenzo Hicks. Now here's the pitch. Hey, we're pacing up there. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. 1 and 1. Well, you take a look at our visiting club as they hey, take the field tonight. Come they've on, been playing bro. some pretty good baseball of late as they've won six of their last eight games. Yeah, Maddie, I'm, I, I've been really impressed with this team, especially on the recent road trip to start to it. They're 3 and 1 after four games, playing really fundamentally sound baseball from offense to defense pitching. It's all coming together for this group. So now here is Lorenzo Hicks. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Lorenzo Hicks. First pitch of the AB on its way. Really starting to pour now, and the forecast is not showing any signs of a break in the weather. You know, one of the big issues is player safety. Right now, this field is getting. And we'll just leave it there as they make the play to end. All set for the start of the inning and set to go as the third baseman, Jake Fish. The old adage, pitching and defense have been stellar so far. They've certainly kept both offenses in check. Hicks, patrolling center, makes the play one out. Stepping up is Lorenzo Hicks. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0 and 2. There's another pitch for a strike, and this guy's really attacking hitters well tonight, being aggressive early on. And if he continues to throw strikes like he is, he's going to have a pretty good night. Scott able to track it down for the third out. Both teams back. Next, it'll be Josh Carroll, a hit in two tries so far. Josh Carroll. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Swing and a little blooper to center. Gonzalez onto the grass. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. Next, here is Lorenzo Hicks. Flew out last time up. Lorenzo Hicks. Looking to keep this a one-run game. The pitch on the ground to the right side and through a base hit. Right the insurance run comes across to score from third. It's a two-nothing ball game. Boy, I'll tell you what, that's a big RBI in a pretty good spot. Yeah, Dan, they've gotten great pitching all game long, and all that that's extra run can do is give you a little yeah. bit more confidence. Yeah. You don't have to oh, pitch man. with such tension out there, fearful of making one mistake. Rounded back up the middle, and that is in the center field as he comes through. It's a base hit, and the runner scores from third as they extend their lead. It's a 3-0 game. Hey, d -Row, that's a big RBI right. Positions to be successful. Giving him that three-run cushion has the to right make you feel good. Number one, Wayne 
The 0-1 delivery. This is hit high in the air out toward score, left center. Score, come on, center score. fielder on the run. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. So it's... High in the air out to center field. And the pinch hitter will not be able to advance the cause, and there are two away now. Always nice to get the first game of the series, but even more so when it's in front of the home crowd. Seems to energize everybody. Now into the box is Lorenzo Hicks. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The center fielder, Lorenzo Hicks. Pitch on the way. Grounded down the third baseline. Fielded cleanly. Come on, beat it out, beat it out. Around to first in time, one away. Into the box, Pedro Liriano. The catcher, Pedro Liriano. Swing and a little blooper to center. Center fielder coming on, and he gets there as he had a lot of ground. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And next will be a speed thread in the form of outfielder Lorenzo Hicks. Hicks. Pitch on the way. I love everything this pitcher's got working right now. He's got presence. He's got great body language on the mound. He's got fastball command and a nice early feel for his off-speed stuff. And that's a base hit, so the pressure's on to open up the inning. There's a hard hit ground ball. Pitcher not able to get a glove on it. Hard and sent it back right where it came from. Next up is Junior Gonzalez. Flew Junior. out last time up. Gonzalez. Swing and a line drive. That's his uh, first base ball, hit, making up, one for two now. Hey, after that hit right there, D-Roll, that extends his hitting streak to six games. Yeah, no doubt about it. Six days in a row with knocks will help you sleep better at night. The right man. Fielder, number one. Digging in will be Dwayne Scott. 0 for 1 here in the early going. A one pitch on its way. Back up the middle and in for a base hit. He's on his way home. And he's safe at the plate as they take the lead. And from the list of stats you never want to hear if you're a pitcher, we have this. Now to the plate, Lorenzo Hicks singled in his last at bat. The center fielder, Lorenzo Hicks. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. Starts him out with the knuckle curve and he swings through it for strike one. That was a great hack right there. Timing was on point. Just sometimes you have bad bat barrel accuracy. Knee high, he barehands it. So one away after the phenomenal defensive effort. New inning set to get underway. And next to be the first year shortstop, Nick Paxton. Wind up and the 0 1. And he sends it the other way toward right center. Center fielder on the run. He makes the catch. A great effort to get. Next, it'll be Quinn Scott. He went down on strikes in his last at bat. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Hicks able to track it down for the third out. So now here is Lorenzo now Hicks. Center fielder, Lorenzo Hicks. Now here's the first offering. Swing and a miss, and he's behind 0 and 1. Two out with the possible go ahead run at first. This is foul right side. 
I think a big reason why he's been so effective in this one that he's been just about getting ahead of every hitter. Seems like every one of them are 0-2, 1-2, and, and it's just about every at-bat. And when that's the case, your chances of getting a good pitch to hit are way worse. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Come on in relief now as he'll make his 10th appearance of the season. Pops this one up. And the move to the pinch hitter will not pan out as that's taken in for the first out. And stepping in, Quinn Scott. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. And this ball swung on and hit to center field. And this should do it. In there, a base hit. And this one will bounce into the wall. And he is in to third with a two-out triple. Of course they feel good about the triple, but I know how mad his teammate can bring him home. And tonight's comes to a conclusion. Next to stand in is Oswaldo Segovia as the switch hitter will bat right-handed here. Much better hitter swinging right-handed for whatever it is. His entire career, he's hit much better against left-handed pitching than he has against right. This is definitely his more comfortable side. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. Ready now is Lorenzo Hicks. He'll leave things off here in the bottom half of the first. The center fielder, Lorenzo Hicks. Now the pitch. Oh, and an ugly swing there. It's 0-1. Oh, Fellas, you take a look at these guys as they get onto the field for the bottom of the first here this afternoon. They come in playing reasonably well of late, though they have dropped their last two in a row. Yeah, Matty, in this sport at this level, you, you have to find a way to be a little come on, bit come realistic. On, come on. You're not going to win every ball game. So they lost last game. Fine. Let's find a way to execute today and get on the winnings. Now into the box, Lorenzo Hicks grounded out in his last at-bat. Here's the first pitch to him. Ball, that's it. You can do it. No one better. Let's do it. Now a swing and a miss, and I don't think he was expecting a pitch inside. It's one and one. Today's contest is, of course, the finale of the series, and the home side has dominated so far. They've got the opportunity to complete the sweep with a win in this one. You know, and it's not an easy thing to complete a sweep, particularly in this day and age where the games and the teams are so competitive, so a sweep at home would be extra special. At the plate now is Michael Hunt worked a walk his first time up. High in the air out to center field. Hicks is there, and he has it for the first down. And now and Dylan one by, one Bell. Now batting. Catcher. Dylan. Bell. Here comes the one two. Lifted out towards straightaway center field. Relay, relay, relay. Hicks is there. Two gone. Now to the plate. Here is Lorenzo Hicks. He bounced out last time up. Lorenzo. Hey. Come on, big guy. One time. Here we go. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. Hey, see you driving right back at the pitcher, huh? Now. Oh, one pitch on its way. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Dig hard, dig hard, dig hard. Around first. He's digging for second. And he is in at second base with a one-out double. Dan, after that base hit right there, he's got a six-game hit and streak going. You know what? And this could be, this could lead him on to something, some bigger and better things now right that. here. He's been swinging the bat pretty well, and he's been rewarded Junior. for it, as you talked about. Six-game hitting streak so far. Now the one-and-one one pitch. And now a bunt attempt here as he gets this on one the bag, down. On the bag, on the bag, on the bag. And the throw is not. 
not going to be in time as he's able to reach base safely. So here is Dwayne Scott, one for two on his line so far in the game. We're in the fourth inning of a 4-2 ball game. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Catch made in left. Here comes the runner for the plate. And they will tack on another on the sack fly, make it a 5-2 game now. A tag, and he is out at second. Now to bat, Michael Hunt comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. 5 2 is our score here in inning number 6. Sent in the air out to straightaway central. He's under it, and that ends the inning. Now at the plate, here is Dylan Bell. He flew out in his last debut. Three two pitch lifted in the air to center field. Hicks will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. Your attention, please. Pinch hitting. Swing and a liner. That's in there. Base hit. Mitchell rounds third and is digging for the plate. He'll score easily as they now trail by only two. Now at the plate, Lorenzo Hicks. He doubled his last time up. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once an A-B, maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. Here you go. And make there's the turn, a make base the hit. So a chance for some insurance here to start out the whole oh, half of the seventh. Right Hanger in the middle of the plate. He could have come unglued, but he didn't. He stayed focused and That's drove a line point. drive base hit. Junior Gonzalez. Runners on the move for second. Swing and a little blooper to center. Hills onto the grass. And he tracks it down. Nice play for the first down. And they get the double play. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Lorenzo Hicks singled in his last at bat. First pitch on the way. Off the plate and away there. One ball, no strikes. With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, D-Roll, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. High and deep down the left field line. And that will end up a foul ball. A one-two pitch. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes. And that comes out of the bullpen to shut things down here in the ninth. Josh Carroll is going to be asked to try and be the rally starter as he's up off the bench ready to lead it off in the ninth. Lifted in the air to center field. And the pinch hitter is retired here, one away. Man, that's what you would call an efficient outing. One pitch, and he gets the save. He doesn't get paid by the pitch, so he just...